Alright everybody, welcome back to some more Circuit Craft. It is I, Zyle's turn. Today, we're going to be continuing with where we left off. So a lot of things have happened since the last time uh, that we were playing, of course. So I got every data pack working. Uh, so now we have everything back. So now we can cook rotten flesh again. Okay, maybe it's not working anymore. Okay, maybe I have to fix that. Well, that's fine. That's the only thing I need to fix. That's okay. I can do that. That's not a problem. But everything else should be working. Uh, so that's good. So that means that we'll be able to do a lot more things uh, for this session. Which will be cool. Alright, so... Now... We're going to go and see if... Lava is good. Yep. I kind of wish the lava kind of worked like water, but it's fine. So that means that now only five of these are active, which is good. Uh, let's see here. We got a lot of food, which is fine. Have a lot of this stuff. Okay, we do have a diamond pick. Okay, I, th I was going to say, I thought we had a diamond pick, but we do. Okay, so I did let the world kind of slowly go off because I was trying to see if all the data packs worked. So the world may have progressed a little bit. Oh, that data pack is still not working. I'm supposed to have a data pack. Or there's a data pack that's supposed to prevent creepers from exploding, but for some reason that's not working as properly as it should. So, hooray for that. What? Oh! Okay, so that data pack's still working. Okay, good. So this is the recent update for the the data pack for chopping down trees. Uh, it literally does drain the entire... Um, not the entire... But it does drain your... Um, your axe's sort of durability based off of how much it's supposed to for chopping down each and every like plank of wood pretty much the axe will break oh oh yeah that's right so if the axe is going to break by the tree then it doesn't actually do anything to the tree it just stops trying to chop it down kind of thing just like that so that should be fine for bookshelves i would Think, but I'm gonna go make another axe specifically just so that way that we definitely know for a fact that we'll have enough. Then I'll chop down all the trees there, then we'll replant the saplings and then blah blah blah. Okay, let's see. Uh okay. I need two of these and I need three cobblestone. Perfect. And I need a new stone axe. Thank you. Oh, I do have six here. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that uh, uh, that they still have it. So the like trees drop like one or like a couple sticks through the leaves, which is what I keep forgetting because I'm so used to the old Minecraft where you have to go make the sticks yourself. There you go. Perfect. Okay, well, we're going to go start placing down the oak saplings, because why not? Okay, we're going to go one right here. Oh, I thought I saw an oak, wood, an oak log over there. It also chops down leaves, but that doesn't really change much. makes chopping down the whole tree much easier. Actually, wait, no, I should have an anti-creeper thing. Maybe, I, oh, I probably never activated it. 
Because this one is different than the old one. The old one was like it was passive or it was always active. This one I think you actually have to activate it. And I gotta remember how to activate it. I did it through a single player because I was trying to make sure that everything worked. The only one that wouldn't be shown through a single player was the the health bar. So that's the one that I actually had to make sure that it worked through this. Then trying to apparently find the one that I originally grabbed. Because apparently, uh, trying to search it up, uh, I couldn't find it. And I remember at some point I did sort of like save all of the data packs uh, that I did use before I combined them in a file or in a folder, but I don't remember where I put the folder, so hooray for that. Now, tree, tree 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 and it's raining hooray but I'm gonna go grab this the the sugar cane right over here did I grab them I did grab them okay now we're gonna run we gotta run all right Perfect. That was definitely a very successful trip. We got a lot of logs with that. Look at that much wood that we got, man. This is why I love this data pack. It's vanilla, but it has a little bit of bonus features with it, which is what I really like about it. Because that just sped up our log gathering by like three Minecraft days, pretty much. Which is awesome. Because that just means that we don't have to waste too uh, too much time trying to go and grab more uh, logs. That's awesome. Uh, no, the other should be in here. Yeah. That's pretty much all of my books. Pretty, or, I meant pretty much all of my logs. So, let's see. So, it's three per one, and we need about 15... That's about 45 books. So that's a lot of cows and all that stuff that I have to go find. And I might as well just wait till it's daytime. I do have dirt, so that's good. Okay. We'll just wait till it's daytime. Meanwhile, I'm going to go check on the, the lava. Hey, look at that. Cool. So that's... Six. Uh, do I need any iron at all or anything? No, I still have a good, decent chunk of iron. I can make an anvil, but I'd rather not have to use up too much materials right off the bat. I think... I should probably make a clock that I that I take with me so when I'm in the mine I have one. So it's on my hot bar, so at the very least, while I'm down in the mine for right nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the dirt to go in here. I'll know when it's a uh, daytime. So we'll continue looking for, uh, I don't really know, I think, uh, I think diamonds are defi definitely a good thing. Uh, diamonds, maybe even uh, coal or iron, those are going to be really good. Or just anything for that matter. Let's just try and speed our way over there. Got to go fast. Whoops.
All right, game, can you stop moving me to left or right? Okay, let's see here. Anything over here that I could definitely use? Okay, no, nothing over there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to be uh, right back in a quick second. All right, sorry about that. All right, and it's already gonna be daytime, great. I'm glad that little distraction happened. I just wanna go take a little peek around here. See if I can find something like a close by or something. Who knows, we might be able to find diamonds. Or lava. Yeah, more so lava than anything. Okay, that's that. Okay, I definitely want this. Definitely want those. They're very useful. And I think that'll be it. Yeah, we'll head back. Okay. So it's not a complete waste. We got more of this uh, pointed dripstone, which is amazing. I think this item will definitely make a huge impact in the overall game. So far, 1.17, the most powerful item in the game, pointed dripstone, because it gives you infinite lava, pretty much. You need one lava, and you'll get a bunch of lava. So it's definitely a really good item. Definitely do recommend. So we're going to go try and find some cows, of course, or horses, doesn't really matter. Whichever once we can get a bunch of leather. Now, of course, you can also try and get rabbits, I believe. I think you take four rabbit hides and it makes a leather, but that still seems so inefficient. It's easier just to kill a cow or find or kill horses and then you should find it. Yeah, I should probably make this into a staircase now. Same idea with this staircase as well. But right now, this is just a mine. It's not really, like, anything too glamorous. Meanwhile, I have stairs here. Uh, oh, yeah, and I realized that uh, I done goofed when I actually put water here or water above somewhere over here supposed to put like the water like somewhere around here then it's supposed to flow out and then that's what's supposed to cause the obsidian so let's see if i can do that now Nah, eh, whatever it's fine ah it's a thunderstorm outside so which means that we're gonna have a little bit of a rough time but that's fine no, you don't. Oh, did the thing work? Oh, please tell me that the thing works. That would have been amazing. So we have a, uh, a data pack enabled. I don't know if it actually did work, but it would be awesome if it did. Or what it does is that um, anytime something that's not the player, a villager, and I think it said a cat, I could be wrong, uh, goes on top of a, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the stone cutter. What it actually does is that it actually does like a half a heart of damage uh, per second, I think, as long as you're on top of it, which is actually is very good. Because that means it's an extra way of just dealing damage. Get back your cow. Come on. There you go. Got some leather now. Obviously, I'd sleep to get rid of the rain, but I uh, can't really sleep. That's going to be the whole challenge. We can't sleep to skip the 
skip the night, and in this case, we can't skip the rainstorm. If I hear one phantom, I'm running back. They're just way too annoying to deal with. Creepers and all of them I can deal with. It's just not going to deal with the, uh, the phantoms. Okay. Not really seeing anything. I don't really see anything that can drop leather at any point. I think we're going to need to sort of branch out. Okay, well, I'm going to wait till it's actually not raining. I wish there was an actual in-game sort of sensor, like the, uh, like the clock that tells you, like, when it's not raining. That'd be awesome. Nope. Leave me alone. Okay, come on. Okay. Hi. There you go. Okay, I know for a fact that there is a creeper outside. That is not what I want. Okay. Well, one of the stupid villagers decided to go and charge outside and ended up dying. How do I know this? I can hear a zombie villager outside. I got more leather, so that's at least A+. Plus. Got some leather pants that I'm not going to wear. So that's also a plus, I guess. Well, I wish I could test it out with myself, but I can't. Not the idea of this session is to actually go to the nether, but I'm trying to uh, also get my enchanting area sort of also done at the same time. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone right now. There you go gonna say it's kind of weird though that it didn't automatically turn to obsidian but whatever it's fine there we go uh, let's see here actually I'm gonna try and find that data pack okay I want to see if it's actually okay so turning it off full screen doesn't actually affect the video too much so that's good. Okay, let's go find that out. Uh, Minecraft rotten flesh to leather. Oops. Data pack. No, I just wanted, definitely don't want that. Okay. Let's go and 
Okay, so I hope that it works. Okay, so picture on here shows that it works with a furnace, which is what I wanted. There's a different version that has it working on a smoker, but I don't really want that. All right, so apparently the version that's a part of my data pack doesn't work anymore. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So let's go and uh, fine tune this bad boy to work. Okay. Fine. Let's see if this works then. So I'm going to change the name of it to Rotten Flesh to Leather. There we go. Uh, yeah, according to the server, that is exactly what happened. A villager died. According to this, it says that the villager was in armor. Yay. Okay, here's the data pack. Boom, boom. There we go. It's now in. We're going to do this. Is it actually? No, I have my inventory opened up. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. Okay. Perfect. It's not working. Okay. So what this is actually supposed to, is supposed to do is it's actually supposed to give Rotten Flesh an additional function. Plus, there was a mod that did it as well. And I kind of liked the idea. Because Rotten Flesh pretty much only has one use. Or at least in my opinion, it only has one use. And more of a backup use and certain other ways of calling it uh, the the main use is pretty much if you want to breed wolves that's one of the best ways of doing it because you collect so much of it and the other is just a backup food source but if you have a farm or if you have anything else you don't really need to use rotten flesh for that main purpose okay so let's see here so the one that I think okay so I need to go find that one thing Uh, let's think is this? I have no idea what it is. Uh, there was a way you can turn it on. I don't remember what the code was. Oh, you can enable or using it this code. Okay. Okay, so let's go and, uh, does it work that way? Okay, so that should work then. Okay. Okay, it's not raining anymore. Okay, can I find a creeper? I want to confirm this, but I don't want the creeper to be too close to my base. I just, okay, I'm going to full screen it again. I most likely just want to make sure that it's actually working to the way that I want it to work. Poor Iron Golem. I put them out of, my, out of their misery, but I still need them alive. I wonder if the reason why they spawned another one is because the game didn't read that I repaired theirs, so it seemed like uh, to them... Mm. It died. There was like eight different creepers over here. Where'd they all go? Okay, well, if there's a way I don't have to keep putting in that scoreboard thing, Majiggy, I would definitely like it. Uh, the one that I had before uh, was outdated enough. Nope. Uh, bye. You're annoying, and I'm out of here. If I find a creeper close by, I'll definitely try and uh, check it out, but I definitely don't want it close to my base. Phantom? Phantom. Okay, creeper. I want you to explode, though. There you go. 
So that one is supposed to do what the other one did, but is more updated. So that it works with this current version of Minecraft. That's the only difference. Uh, there's one that's actually very different, or it has like a, a function off. Uh, so that creeper explosion is supposed to uh, still deal damage. Or the one that I wanted was that it does damage, but it doesn't actually... Uh, what is it? No, it does damage, but it doesn't actually destroy the terrain around it. That's what I wanted from the, the mod, or the data pack. And I found one that did half of it, kind of. Uh, the only thing that was off was that it does damage to the players. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Okay, there's still one more rotten flesh. And, of course, you're done. Okay. Perfect. I'm guessing I have the bones in here? Yep. Okay. I'm guessing that was supposed to be in there. Okay. Can you bone meal... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, we got that one again. Actually, I'll list off all the ones that we have, unless it's showed here. Nope. Yeah, okay. So I'll list off all the data packs that we have. Uh, it shouldn't be too much. Okay, yeah. So you have Sarka Craft stuff. Okay, so it does three hearts of damage each and every second. Exempt our players, cats, and villagers. Yeah, okay. So I have Batman brains. So in case you want to uh, still be able to do everything without having phantoms, uh, you can kill bats and they do the exact same thing. Uh, player heads, whenever a player kills another player, they will have the player head. Uh, player graves, this is so that way you die, you sneak, and then you right click and you get your items. Uh, yeah, we already talked about that one. Tree Cavitator, I don't think I need to explain this any further. AFK display, if you're not moving for five minutes or so, you get to actually see uh, who's not doing it. So, like, uh, it'll, it'll pretty much like gray out the person's name. So that tells you that, oh, okay, that person has been away from their keyboard for about five minutes or so. So. Plus, I also have this data pack, so you'll be able to actually see uh, uh, their health as well. So, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the other ones that we do have is Set Home. Uh, this is temporarily off because the because the one website that I actually got uh, my Set Home uh, hasn't updated it yet. They still have it in the 1.16 and not 1.17. I'll go check it right now. If I remember where, it's, where they put it in. Oh, they literally just, just updated it. So that'll be in next time. Definitely. I'm not going to go turn it on right now. And Silk Touch Spawners. I don't even know if we still have this anymore. But pretty much if you use a Silk Touch on the spawner, you get the spawner. And the Damage Quarry, we, we have this. So, And there, I think there are other ones that are not on that list that I can mention right here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Turn the view into large icons so I can actually see it better. Uh, we, yeah, so we have the anti creeper grief. That's the one we just set on. Uh, the anti enderman grief. So that means that they cannot pick up items. I think the ghast is the same as the creeper one. But, of course, I don't think it can deal damage to the player, which is. I guess it's okay. I don't really care that much. Uh, the chunk loader. We had that in the. Uh, last one and we loved it because we could go afk farm on the dimensional quarry and it would be completely fine uh yeah and i think that's pretty much it that's pretty much everything yeah and then the trader notify as you can see i wonder if there's a way you can hang on i wonder if you can actually do that
wonder if you can do that. Give me a second. No. No, there was there's a way you can I don't know what it's called. I'm trying to see on the So I'm trying to take a look here and seeing if you can actually like have a data pack that allows it so though it does the same thing as that note as that wandering villager thing going full screen again as that wandering villager thing but it tells you what uh, the pillager version of it instead because you can have that random pillager scouting oh that's what it's called it's a pillager scouting party No, I'm not seeing it. No, not seeing it. Nope, I'm seeing uh, things for the Wandering Trader, but nothing for that Pillager thing. Which would be kind of good to have kind of things, though, though when you're not paying attention, you don't get that, uh, you get a message saying that, hey, uh, a pillager scouting party has been located close to this person or something like that. I think that would be kind of helpful. Okay, so it seems like creepers are now at least somewhat more like tamed than before. So that's good. That's what we're looking for in this server, to be honest. What? I click. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's lagging a little bit. It's fine. Oh, it's probably because I was searching. That's right. It's probably because the websites that I'm looking at probably have a bunch of ads that are taking over so much of the bandwidth. And because I'm running the server at the same time, it's probably not liking it as well. The server's probably like, come on, man, just turn it off. Which I will. Okay. I'm gonna I'll tab one more time and I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, but I'll definitely try and take a better look at it now that I know what it is. I'll definitely take a look for it. And I'll have, and I'll have the homes thing get downloaded right now. And it's done. Cool. There we go. Perfect. That's now off. Okay, is it daytime yet? I want to go and explore a little bit. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to do that for now. Okay. I got to go find more shirker cane. Yeah, so trying to find a version of the one that I have here where it displays the hearts. I found three different ones that I did not like. Uh, one of them showed, like, on every mob how many hearts they have. Uh, which can be kind of helpful, but... I find that that's a little bit too cheating kind of thing. Because then you know, like, okay, so this will do, let's say, three hearts of damage to a, a, a wolf or something like that. And it's like, eh. Like, then you can find the most efficient weapon. And it's like, that's not really what we're supposedly doing on this server oh sweet berries yes that's a awesome it's a pretty good food source now can I find another village can I find the spruce village they usually have a ton of sweet berries Rapids. Uh, 
I like how it's just running into the wall, and then as soon as I walk closer to it. Hi. I'm trying to find a little lake like area. Okay, I'm going to keep this area sort of untainted and try and keep as much of the cows here alive as possible. Although I'm going to need the steak, definitely. I know there's a way of uh, making uh, like a cow farm that's sufficient, but or efficient in that. I think it has to do with entity cramming, but I'm trying to figure out like how to actually do it again. I made it once, and that was like a long time ago. I'll have to look up a video on it or something. Yeah, I'm not going to go down that path. I'm trying to keep towards one direction so it's easier for me to get back. Should have brought the clock with me. But as soon as it goes to the, the middle, I'll definitely start heading, way, uh, heading my way back. What's that? Oh, it's just the horse. Okay. Kind of looked like a pillager. That's why I was a little bit confused. And I was, I don't want to say scared, but I was kind of on, on the edge. Like, oh man, I, I definitely don't have the equipment to deal with a, a pillager. This is definitely not going to chop down a tree, that's right. Okay, so just in... Just so though I'm not uh, making anybody mad. Let's do that for now. Okay, I need to find more sugar cane. Mind you, I'd be, like, stealing every sugar cane I can get my hands on, but I'd rather try and keep it... Keep as much in the wild as much as possible. Okay... Oh, and in case um, anybody is wondering, uh, when 1.18, yeah, when 1.18 comes around or when they decide to add the rest of the pieces of 1.17 back in, uh, I do still have the world as the blank slate, so right before we created that cave and everything, uh, I still have all that, so in case they do decide to end up adding uh, all the features... Like, I was really excited for, what was it called, the, the warden thing? I was really excited to go and face that. I wanted to see how well I could end up going against it, but apparently not. Apparently, it's just too much f right now. Which is sad, because I would have definitely have loved to do that. Now, what is it? It's I think it's shears, right? It's shears and the pumpkin. Didn't get the carved pumpkin? I don't remember. They keep changing all these random features, and I just don't understand why. Well, I know the carved pumpkin, why, but like... Oh, there's a lot of sugar cane around here, okay. Oh, it's a goat! Oh, cool. What? What was that? Hi, goat. Hi. Hi. Alright, we're gonna go kill the goat now. Yeah, we're gonna go kill the goat. What did you do? You didn't drop anything. Well, now I feel bad for killing the goat. I thought I would drop something. Oh, now I feel bad. I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs> Wee.
This sort of reminds me of, uh... Was it Minecraft? I don't remember. It was... It was some kind of game that updates where, like, they have a new update and it's like nothing... It drops nothing. It's like, really, dude? It drops nothing? What's the point of adding it in if it drops... If it gives... If it adds nothing... Hooray. Oh, now we get to see if that actual player graves thing actually worked. Okay, I'm gonna need a water bucket, and I'm gonna need a clock. And I need to pretty much sprint all the way over there. And it tells you where you died, too, so that's kind of cool. So it's about right over there? Yeah, it's about right over there. Okay. Perfect. I'm glad you know there was a ravine there. No? That was karma for killing the goat for no good reason. To be fair, I heard something and I didn't know what it was. Maybe the goat was jumping to something or something along those lines. I don't know. But it's fine. You know, we died, but we respawned, and... Oh, we found more sugarcane, though. Oh, look at that. Look at that hall right there. I kind of hope that the player graves thing worked. If not, that means if there's any lava in there, we might have lost some things. Just hope it wasn't the sugar cane. Okay, uh, I'm at negative 500, so continue going straight, pretty much. For about 200 blocks, and we should be able to get there in before nightfall. Now, we should be getting pretty darn close. Should be across here. Now, just gotta go find that ravine again. So, uh, so the data pack with the player graves, uh, that one says that the player graves will last indefinitely. So they will not despawn at all. Okay. So this is the ravine. No. Where's the ravine? 736. So it should be over here then. There it is, okay. There it is, okay. So we need to water bucket our way down there, so let's, or we can just try and calmly go down. Okay. Just hope the water doesn't break it though. There we go. Also, the XP that we get is what would happen when we actually do die. So whatever. Are you kidding me? It moved my water bucket around. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Come on. Why isn't it... There we go. All right, now we're out. Uh, 
All right, so we so our base is about 500 blocks this way, so we should be fine. As long as we're able to keep on sprinting, we should be able to get there in no time at all. I think a, zon a zombie over there just decided to speed run his way over here. Or speed walk or whatever, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Used to be really good at Minecraft parkour anyway. Me and a friend used to do a lot of the, the Minecraft maps that were about parkour when they I don't know if they're still popular, but back when the pretty much everybody was doing it. Pretty much is when we were kind of just playing it. Not recording it, just actually doing it. Bye, everyone. See ya later. Okay, so we're at the first planes, or is this the second planes? There's wolves here, so it's the second planes. Okay, so we're just going to make it across here. And then over, I think, a mountainside. Oh no, wait. What? Or maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. Because I don't know which planes I'm on. Okay. Bye, spider. Yeah, you have to go through water. Meanwhile, I'm already across the water. Thank you. Now run. There, cobblestone for now. Apparently my dirt was nowhere to be found. There we go, okay. You go there, and we got the clock back in here. Let's see how much of the lava we have. We've got one, that's fine. I need the... I need the water bucket though. Hmm. I don't really have a place for it, though. I guess we'll just throw it here for now. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. We got that now. So the portal's almost done. So we just need three more blocks and then we're good. Awesome. We should still have a flint and steel, right? Or did I not make one yet? Wait, did I not make one yet? I thought I did. Oh no, I have the flint for it, okay. That's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just store everything in here for now. Keep the bucket on hand. We'll put the cobblestone back in here. I'll do that for now. Okay. I need more sugar cane. So we got that many. Plus the ones we collected along our journey, so we got the, we got a lot. Plus so we got these, so that should be about nine books. Hooray! It's about seventeen, so we can definitely make some bookshelves with these. Might as well start making them. Uh, I'll put forty-two up for one planks whenever we stop lagging, of course. only make five which is fine okay 
There we go. Perfect. So what level can we make things now? 14. Yeah, so we can go with efficiency. It's fine and all, but I don't really care for that. Just gotta wait till it's daytime or until we get. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, lava, come on. We only need two more. Come on. One of you spawn it. Maybe I'm gonna store this andesite in here. And I'm gonna make a large chest over here. That's gonna be where I put the wood now. Or at least that wood, specifically. Okay, it's going to be daytime. Okay. Uh, give me two dirts, please. And that was a weird sound effect, too. Okay. There we go. Uh, you can have my books. Uh, I think that should be fine for everything. Don't really think we need anything else. We just need lava for the last thing. Might as well make that flint and steel now, though. Okay, we need one of these. I think it's flint and then iron? Yep. Okay. Just waiting for the lava now. Probably get those iron or gold boots ready. Not iron boots. I almost said iron boots. Let me get those gold boots ready. Kind of wish I had my piglin observer set from my uh, base, but it's fine. My enchanted gold and stuff, that's pretty much like a god armor, pretty much. We'd be done by now. I mean, I wouldn't have it enchanted, but I'd definitely make the gold more, like, indestructible with unbreaking, but... Eh, it's fine. Should be daytime by now. But I'm waiting for a sugar cane to grow. Ah! So here's what I'm going to do with sugar cane for now. I'm going to go and... I'm gonna go and upgrade the sugar cane that's over here, pretty much. I'm going to expand this one so we get more of a more of a stock going on. This is pretty much more of the, the main Minecraft strat. But pretty much I think the the new strategy pretty much is to have it sealed so that way though nothing can get in kind of thing other than like mobs you want getting in. Thank you. Got the gunpowder. I'd also make a piston door, so I don't have to keep doing this, but I don't mind doing that. It's fine. Ah, oh, come on, man. Just need one more. Ooh, I can almost make a TNT. 
then I could try making an infinite TNT generator, but I don't really think that is really fair. I'm trying not to do as much glitches and exploits kind of thing. Like if, like if, like farming like this is okay to me. Like this, do, this doesn't seem like it's all that much. Like if it did like two drips instant lava, then that's cheating to me. So far, all the data packs aren't cheating, although I'd say rotten flesh to leather is kind of cheating, but then again, it just speeds up the process of getting leather. Come on, one of you. I know it's a 6% chance of filling it up completely, but still, man. I won't be that surprised if there's a data pack that speeds it up. Data pack that as soon as it drips one little drop, it, it immediately just goes. Okay. Got the portal now. Bucket of lava. Bucket of lava. Bucket of water. That. Seeds. We got the nether portal. Let's go. We're definitely not ready for it, but it, it should be good for at least a little bit. Okay, where am I? Oh, there's a piglin over there already. <gasps> Magma cube! Yes! Thank you. Did you drop it? No! Why? collecting this for now just trying to get as much experience as i can possibly get okay now you shouldn't be angry with me because i'm wearing gold boots i'm wearing shiny gold boots yeah okay i need i need nether quartz i want to make that uh observer block there we go like look at that we already got a level and that's amazing oops it's fine Okay, we have enough nether quartz for at least a few observers. So let's at least make one. Sorry, trying to pull up the wiki for it. I don't remember the recipe for it exactly. All right, so we need cobble. And we need redstone. So we're going to grab this cobble. We're going to grab this redstone. How many do we need entirely? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need seven altogether. Might as well make them. So in order to make an observer, we need this. And we need here. And then we need this here. So we need to make seven. Okay, so now for this, I need the face to going towards this direction, which means that I need to break th these blocks right here. Because observers are really finicky like this. And where is it? There's my dirt, okay. Okay, gonna do that for now. There we go, okay. So this is what we need. Okay, now what was the piston again? Okay, because I think the piston was the one and I didn't want to make too many of them. 
before we had a confirmed that we can end up making the observer. So I need six of these. There we go. And I need more stone. So I need there, 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 there. Then we go with piston, 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 piston. There we go. So now I need to make sure that it actually does the thing that I want it to do. Because if not, that means I actually need to do redstone dust all along this line. But I'd rather not waste redstone if I don't have to. Because if it just automatically updates, I would much rather have it. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that stone there. I'm going to go make some more stone. I'm going to store the quartz in here for now. Oops. I'm going to make some gold ingots. And I'm going to go drop them along that piglin that's at the, the portal. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, another brick. Cool. It's a cool block. It's a cool reward to get a hold of. Anything over here, though? Nothing really. Should probably go and make a crafting table in here, though. Put it right next to you. So anytime I can make one of these, I can just give it to you. Okay. Come on, give me something good. I got a fire charge again. Awesome. Got normal obsidian. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. What else did you give me? Oh. And that's not enough to for me to actually go get anything. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back. Because I need a new iron pickaxe. There we go. Oops. Uh, I'm going to do this. There we go, I think that should be fine. So here's my plan to keep that, uh, not just that piglet in there, but like to, uh, I hope this kind of works to my advantage. So I gotta do th this. So I go above. Oh no. He's trying to get away from the zombie Pikmin, of course. 
Okay, so I can probably work on this. Definitely pick up anything that he would have traded. Okay, so this. So this will make it so that way like anytime he drops something, I'm able to go here kind of thing. Or at the very least, go into a corner area, sort of like here, be able to pick it up. So I think that should be kind of cool. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get these zombie pigmen away from him. Because obviously he's scared of them. I would be too. They're pretty terrifying. But I'm trying to figure out how to get them away from it, though. It's fine. Anyway. Gotta somehow get it round. There's more gold, so I can, at least I can trade with him, still. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we could find some ancient debris. But right now, I'm mostly trying to find a fortress. Mostly, well, mostly I'm trying to see if I can maybe skip a few steps. So we can just go straight for finding the uh, the nether fortress and not have to worry about anything. Okay. Hopefully find something for him. Oh, he gave me spectral arrows. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm going to go move this. I'm going to go and sort of trap him in a different prison. So let's see if I can make it over here, since he doesn't mind this area too much. So we'll go boop, boop. There we go. And now we're going to go with it right here. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, you see this? Kind of nudge him over there. No, you're heading towards the zombie pigman. No, go this direction. I think I need more. I think I need more than just the one. Oh, wait. Wait, maybe. There you go. Got soul sand. Hooray, I got soul sand. Okay. So let's see here. There's some more gold over there. I don't want to go mining for all of the gold, like, really quickly, though. I'm going to try and see if I, that didn't create much light. <laughs> but it's fine. At least it gives me a little bit of a marker exactly where I am. And I... I'm going to grab this crafting table and place it close by. Place it about there. So at the very least, any time I get uh, gold nuggets, I can at least uh, craft them to gold ingots near him. Okay. So I gotta be careful in the Nether, because uh, when you're trying mining through the wall, or at least like what I'm doing, you can get suckered into one of those like one 
block pits of uh, lava and then you'll die because you didn't expect it. Even though I am expecting it in a way. Hmm. Okay. What? Come on. There we go. Okay, okay. Aw, poor Strider. He needs the lava. Good job, Strider. Kill him! Aw. I'm surprised that that doesn't piss off all the, all the zombie pigmen. Strider's trying to kill one of our own brethren. Can you stop trying to follow me? You're scaring me, Strider. I'm not even joking. I keep thinking he's going to end up following me up here. Okay, now we're up here. Okay, there's another close by though. Or not another, uh, gas. There it is! There's the gas. Is it firing at me? Does it not see me? Hi, friend. Oh, it still does damage. Oh. There we go. Ow. Guys are in the way. I don't want to piss any of you guys off. Guys are making this even tougher than it needs to be. What? Oh, it was the baby pick one, okay. I was like, what was that noise? Oh. Oh. That's gonna hit. No! You dodged it the last. Where did it go? <laughs> it just. It just vanished. Okay. It just vanished. Okay. I'm gonna keep that near me. No! No, come on. Come on. Climb. Climb. There we go. Perfect. Oh No. Can you stop this game? Seriously. Oops. I don't think this is the right nether biome that I wanted to be in. Yeah, because I think this is the Crimson Forest, and I think the one I wanted to go in is the Warped.
Well, actually, it's pretty much I just want to find another fortress. I'm not seeing another fortress. I'm gonna eat that. Mind. Who's that? Oh. Huh. Thought those were one of the brute ones where they're uh, where it doesn't matter if you wear gold or not, they're still going to kill you. Okay, I'm trying to find some kind of structure here. Sort of wish you guys gave me fire resistance potions, but it's fine. I do have enough nuggets for something, so let's go and uh, let's go and do something about that. What? Uh game? Okay, there we go. That was weird. I'm gonna keep that with me, okay. It's like they're inspecting it, making sure that it's actually leather. <laughs> they're like, hmm, yes, this is leather. Fire resistance potion? Oh, that's what I need now. I need it to traverse the nether and not have to worry about anything. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's why you want the fun guy with you. What are you doing? Are they dancing? Oh, they they killed the thing. So yeah, so they're they're dancing in enjoyment because they actually killed it. Okay. Here's the Warped fungi, okay. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. And I didn't do it properly, probably. I don't know. Okay, well. We didn't go to the, the nether as early as I wanted to, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to botch that jump. I was like, really? Oh, I would have hated that. Okay, I thought that was an Enderman for a quick second. I looked at it so fast and I just saw like a blue, uh, black tall thing and I'm like, oh god, don't tell me it's an Enderman. Okay, uh, nothing over here. To be fair, I'm not even seeing, oh, <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, we're not going to need torches right now. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything that's like... Like that's screaming to me, telling me that like, Hey, this is where another fortress would be. As long as my gold boots are fine, that's the only thing I don't want to kind of, like, get destroyed is the gold boots. Because as soon as the gold boots are destroyed, I'm going to die. I have nothing against these pillager... Those piglin villagers things. Oh! Oh! No, you don't. 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 Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, where am I? 
I'm in another ravine, pretty much. Fantastic. You know, this is where I wanted to be. I was gonna say, you should be as fast as water in here. So you should be descending faster than that. Again, you should be faster than that. Okay, uh... Should be using these flyer charges as my torches for this dimension. Okay. I think one of the traders ended up giving me a, a stack of nether rack. I definitely don't remember getting this from anything. Okay, well, let's go and uh, go straight over here. Let me just use my laptop for a second. I think I can manage it real quick. Give me a second, is it lagging? Uh, no. According to the server, there is no lag and I am out of materials. Great. I can't even make another iron pick in here. I don't have iron. So I have to try and find my way out. Easier said than done. Yeah, because I gotta go somehow make my way down there without even dying. Where is that? What? Oh. It looked like a one block, but it was actually two. Got it. Don't think that's where I wanted to go. I think it was this little. Great. <sighs> okay. Okay, I should have... Nope, never mind. I was going to say, I should have some cooked mutton on me, but I do not. Okay. Uh, we have no food. And food is currently trying to hunt us. I always wanted to have in Minecraft. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
No, I dug my way up here. Where's my little hole? I should have torched up the entrance. Well, if I find it, I'm definitely torching it now. Is it down in here? No. Hmm. There's glowstone. Hmm. Is this it? No. What's this? Nothing. Wait, could I have been up there? And then worked my way down? I mean, that could be a possibility. Oh, in case you're new to the channel, I have terrible memory, so I'm trying to see if there's something that catches my eye and goes, Oh, yes, I remember being in this area, or something along those, uh, something along that kind of thing. So that's why I'm trying to, like, look around in, like, a wide area, is trying to remember if I have been here or not, or if I find the portal, because if I find the portal, then I'll be fine. Okay, uh... Well, I found the different forest. Okay, I should definitely stop that. Okay. Should definitely... Uh, write this down. I'm gonna take a screenshot of it first. Oops. Not what I meant to click. Oops. Really, dude? Really? Okay, now where is the entrance? So the nether is eight blocks shorter than the overworld. So that means the mine should be about like negative 50 ish. And I think like negative three, I think, or something along those lines. So now I need to definitely be careful. I cannot get hit right off. If I do, I'm dead. I also know that I built a bridge somewhere, so as long as I can... Oh, that's quartz. Okay, I thought that was like a chain. Like a weird chain. I was like, weird. So I'm trying to find my little tunnel... That I have no idea where it is. I know it's somewhere. I made it the dang thing. Problem is, is did I make it around up here? Or did I make it down there? Like, wh like what's the right answer right there? Because I gotta be careful. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I found the warped forest, I think is what it's called. I think is what the biome is called. So that's a good sign. Might as well just commit to it. Okay, uh, where is it? Okay. 
So I can make food. I think this is going to be a waste of materials, but it's fine. Whatever keeps me alive long enough to actually go to the overworld is A-OK -okay in my book. Okay, so I know I had to have come from an, a below area. So let me try and find that. Okay, there it is. Okay. So that means that it should be close by, though. So I need to find what now? What mushrooms? I need to find red mushrooms. And not those red mushrooms. It's a different red mushroom. And I don't know if they spawn in another at all. Okay, so we found where I was. So that's a good sign. Okay. So I headed straight, and then I headed towards this direction, and I never stopped heading towards this direction. So that means that my hole should be around somewhere over here. Ah, here it is. Okay. So, torches. Torches. The heck was that sound? Was that the strider? It's a weird noise for a strider. Anyway. Perfect. Alright, so we got some decent rewards. I'm going to go take a stop by the piglin that's right close to the entrance. And I'm going to go see if what we can get with these iron. And then after that, we'll just leave. Oops. That's fine. We'll just have to fix that staircase when I get back. Is he still there, though? No, he despawned. Dang it, man. I mean, I know how to prevent them from despawning, but there's no point. Oops. Oh, okay. You can take the fire charges back. I don't need it. Uh, I need food, though. Uh, cook the raw beef, please. That'll be helpful for the nether. But I will take the cooked mutton for now, just so I can have something at least. Let's head back for now. I'm going to actually grab the spawn locations. So negative 30, negative 20. And then 50, pretty much. Okay. I'll definitely try and remember that. Whoops. Wrong. But it's also day 200. What's the local difficulty? Three. Oh, my word, man. Jeez. I don't know exactly what it means. I just know that you'll sometimes find mobs with, like, special effects on them kind of thing. I think uh, the last server, I think the, in the location where I was, for the most part, with uh, with Varicol, I think, uh, like, a lot of the spiders were invisible. Uh, what was the other ones? I think spiders were invisible. There was a, another couple ones that were around. It was really weird. Aww. Don't worry, buddy. I'll help you. I'll push you into lava. Oh, wait. I can... Ah, I can just... Yeah, but I can't... Yeah, but I can't control you because I don't have that item. No, I'm trying to push you into lava, buddy. 
Yeah, I'm trying to help you. No, I'm trying to help you. No, I'm trying to help you get in the lava. There you go. There you go. Yeah, striders love lava, so as soon as you take them out of the lava, they kind of sort of just slow down. And you kind of can't help but feel bad for them, because they actually love heat. Okay, so I need to... I need to find the fortress, though. That's my problem right now. I need to find a fortress, because I need to fight blazes. So I get blaze rods. Hi! I also need to get a brewing stand so I can actually go and craft potions. Hi. Hi. I'm right here. Oh. I actually hit that. I hit that. Okay, do I have to actually spam it? Okay, I'm apparently not hitting it when I am, so... There's that. Okay. Yeah, so now we're at critical health again. I wish there was a way you can, like, attract zombie Pikmin away from an area. What? Nope! Okay, well... I definitely need more food then. Oh, hi! Oh, come on! No! Ugh. Now I'm stuck here. I can't get out. Yeah, I'm stuck here. I can't get out because there's a gas close by. Where is it? There it is. Can I make a break for it? Nope. It's like literally right there. No, leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna make a break for it. Okay, gotta be careful here. Come on! <gasps> yes! Okay, uh, ingots. Thank you. Oh, come on. Game. Seriously, stop. There we go. What? I go to Q. There we go. Now you give me fire resistance. Really? Oh, fine, whatever. It's fine. I got fire resistance now. That's all that matters. I'm out of here. Goodbye for now. Uh, I think I'll take apples with me. Okay. Okay. Uh... Is that gas still camping in this area? I don't even know. Ok, 
Okay, it doesn't look like it. Okay, good. As long as that cast is giving me a little bit of a break, I'm going to appreciate it. Okay, so that fire resistance potion. It's only three minutes. We'll keep it until I'm desperate. Yeah, I'll keep it on the hopper until I'm desperate enough where I actually need to use it. Because right now I don't. I prefer to have more of it, obviously. I'd, I'd love to have more of the fire resistance potion. Okay, my iron gold boots are still doing still doing fine. Oh no, I'm, I keep storing my nether rack. What? Are you angry at me? shouldn't be you shouldn't be oh is it because i broke it close to him that's probably what it is but the other one didn't get angry and i was even closer oh no hi Give me a second, I'll go give you them back. C come on. Hey! You stole my crafting table! What the? Where'd my crafting table go? What'd you do with it? Oh, of course, now the game decides to give it back to me. Don't take it back. I was going to say, character, whatever you do, do not take it back. I don't know what they would do if you actually take it back from them. You gave me blackstone, okay. Give me gravel? Cool. Come on, buddy. I keep thinking he's giving me netherite. Obsidian again? Are you kidding me? Whatever, it's fine. I am going to keep one close to there. Doesn't really matter. I've already made a bunch of them. Okay, so I need to head up here, I think, is where I found that warped forest. it's like up here then we turn then it should be like right over across here right well this guy's almost fully decked out yeah it's right over here that's right he's still scared at the normal uh Of the zombie big one. It would be kind of cool if the ones with that are like more armored are less scared of them. I wonder what makes them terrified of it though. Like is it just the fact that it's just like a normal one of them but just more distorted and looks like that they're dying pretty much? Or what? Be kind of interesting to know about that. Okay, well, I don't really see a safe place of actually being able to travel to over there. And I need more blocks in order for me to travel over there. The only other way is if I try and, like, jump to the lava and then kind of ender pearl my way out of there, but I don't have ender pearls. 
if I write this lava pillar down. I don't want to use my fire resist potion just because I can't find another way down. I'd rather try and explore around and kind of find a different way. I was going to say, where'd my apples go? Okay. Here. Oh, something dropped down. Going to say yes, something did drop down. Okay. Oh, what is that? Warped warp block. Okay. That was like a leaf where it would break and you'd get nothing out of it. But I was wrong. Okay. Okay, kind of slowly get down. There we go. Thank you. And the cool thing about this block is that it's pretty much the water bucket for this area. Jump from a high place, you just drop down here and you slowly descend. Okay, that's not where I want to go though. I kind of want to continue exploring this area and I found some red mushrooms, that's good. Okay, magma cube. What? Okay, I found the potion ingredient that I need, magma cream, to go make some more uh, fire resistance potions. But I can't really do that if I don't have any blaze rods, of course. That's it, find a data bag that makes blaze rods easier to get. Or you can combine things together and you can be able to make it. Okay, uh, there's a lot of gold down here. I'll go pick it up. Should have enough for at least a few ironing or gold ingots, not iron ingots. What's that over there? All right. Well, we're just gonna collect this gold real quick. Oh. Either my computer is just not really giving it all it's got for at least connecting to the server or something like that. Because when I was trying to, I was trying to play an MMO earlier. Uh, my computer was saying that it was a uh, had a had a network latency, which is normally a hundred, which I think is normal for everyone, or at least is normal for me. And then it just ended up kept sporadically going to like six hundred, and then I think it said nine hundred ninety nine plus. Is weird so I'm hoping that this is not the case I'm hoping my computer is still saying like yep I'm good to go oh now it's saying that I moved too quickly no wait that was 20 minutes ago yeah oh nine is 35 yeah about 25 minutes yeah about almost a half an hour ago what was the half an hour for? 
Was anyone was tussling with that ghast? I don't know. Okay, uh, I have no idea where I'm going. So... Nope. Aww. Oh, I'm not good at the timing for it, though. That is the one shame. Oh, is it a random chance you'll get it as a drop? Oh, I thought it was guaranteed. Probably guaranteed if you have luck or silk touch or whatever. Okay, there's another pit down there. Okay, I don't want to stay here. I'm too close to the edge. That is guaranteed death. If I ever saw one. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm heading the right direction to my way back. Wait, did I head to the surface area? Well, the surface of the nether? Ow. That hurt. Kind of wish I can control a strider just so I can actually see where I'm going. Okay, well. Okay. Uh. I like push you. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't really see an area where I can go though. Hmm. Okay, uh, I do have the wood on me, yes. Okay. So now I just need to find that area again. Might be difficult. I'm finding Enderman, which is cool and all, but I definitely don't have the equipment for it. Because I was trying to find a quick uh, and easy fortress. I'm guessing this one doesn't have one. Either that or I'm heading in the, all the wrong directions where one would be. Which would be sad. Okay. Okay, uh, is 
So I need to head over in this direction to head back home, okay? I'm out of food. I need to find red mushrooms and fast. I found some earlier, but we had apples still, so I didn't want to go and take them since I didn't need them at that moment. But I should have done it anyway. And it's also a huge waste, because if you had a, mo a mushroom, I think is what they're called, could be wrong on the pronunciation of it, but I'm pretty sure it's probably that. Uh, we don't wouldn't need it. Because we would just have the, we would just spawn in the mushroom kind of thing, and then we have infinite food. No matter what, I don't think it's infinite in the case of that it's actually really good. Where it has like the highest saturation in food, but it's just that you just right click on the mushroom and you have infinite food. You just need a separate item and then you're good to go. Okay, we were just here. So that's a good sign, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. So I need to he continue heading towards this direction? No, we need to head towards th this direction. So we need to head towards over here then, right? Yes, okay. Keep trying to sprint, but I don't have any food for that. Don't have the hunger for it. Yeah, there's a lot of Endermen. Either I'm getting lucky with the spawn rates, because I thought that Endermen was supposed to be rare here. Either that, or it's because I'm not killing them that I keep finding them. Okay, well. What was that sound? Okay, well. Okay. So I think that's where we came from. Uh, that right there. Okay, so I need to make it back up there. kind of try and loop around over here and then we should be able to make it over there also the one thing I kind of like about the nether is that there's no passage of time which is cool because then at the very least it makes kind of traveling in the nether very difficult because You won't know, like, if you're out in the overworld, if it's day or night kind of thing, until you're actually in the overworld where the clock actually updates and goes, Oh, yeah, it's nighttime, by the way. And you're like, really, I couldn't have just, you know, looked. <laughs> it's kind of the one aspect I like about uh, the nether. Actually, I should probably make all those, uh, gold nuggets into ingots. Mm -hmm. 
So only one death. I'm actually kind of surprised. I expected more, but then again, it's because I'm way out of practice. I'm not used to uh, starting uh, like all over again now. I'm used to uh, like having my base from like a previous version, so like only one version will I be struggling, and then, then other versions I'm like, bah, I have like, you know, 20 million diamonds uh, lying around in like my random building that I like to call the soup kitchen or whatever kind of deal. Okay, I'll try to make it out and then I'll be pretty much it for today. We've we've gotten a few good piglin trades. We got a fire resistance potion. I kind of wish we found another fortress kind of really quick, but it's fine. No. You're joking. How far away am I from it? I'm like literally right there. Oh. I could... Wait. Wait a minute. Doesn't this count? Oh, thank you. I thought I was going to have to make a gold pickaxe. I was like, no. Don't make me waste my gold for that. But it's fine. We were literally like right there too, so I'm kind of sad. Alright, so let's go do the few little trades or bargains or whatever you want to call it. Or whatever it's called. I don't really care. We got 19. That's good. Let's go and figure out what they have. Hopefully there's one like really close by. No. Okay, let's go grab some food first. Here, I want some twisting vines. What? I wonder if you can make a... I wonder if this is how you make a twisting vine farm. No, yeah, we'll find out. Okay. Uh, I need food, so we'll go grab the. I want to grab the sweet berries. I'm gonna wait until I can actually make a proper area for them. Uh, I guess I'll convert the hay bales into wheat, which will in turn make it into bread, which will in turn make it a decent food. Yum. Then we'll head back. Yeah, it didn't grow naturally. Okay, uh... Let's just try and make sure... 
fall. I'm going to probably end up making that slightly bigger, though. Uh, I do have the netherrack for it, but I'm not going to do it right away. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm just going to also check something real quick. Okay. So I just wanted to check and make sure that the uh, the recording was around the right time, or at least the stopwatch is around the same time as the recording. Oh no, where'd the piglins go? There was some right over here. will be where I would like to just smite them all down. All the zombie pigmen just so that they can just spawn in. Yeah, I don't see any normal piglins over here. No! I need to do some trades. Hmm. Well, then. Okay. Oh, I made it just in the nick of time. Okay, good. There's a there was a piglin all by himself, so I'm hoping that there's a pack somewhere. Somewhere close by. I think I heard one. Okay, there's some more hoglins. Okay, so there's a baby one. I kind of wish there was a piglin close by, though. I don't know if the baby ones will also give you just like uh, just as good as the rewards as the adult ones, so just in case. I'm not going to go do that. I'm going to try and see if I can slowly advance to that little hunting party that's over there. Oh, hey, there's one that's right here. Awesome. Do you guys not like gold or something? There we go. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, cool.
Come on, buddies. Got soul speed shoes. Cool. Do you even drop anything? of anything. I think the baby one kept stealing it all, though. I think he kept stealing my gold ingots. Yeah, look, he still has it in his hand. What is the way you can kill it without alerting the other ones? Baby Hoglin's not gone. Okay. Well, that's going to be it. Uh, I'm probably going to go looking around, trying to find the Nether Fortress. Or at least one that's really close to the portal. I'm hoping that it is a not going to be, like, a, like, it's going to take me, like, ten days kind of thing to kind of find it. I was kind of hoping of actually just doing, like, you know... kind of just like you know just wandering around for like you know the first couple sessions and it's like okay we got a clear goal to what we need to do in like session 20 or something like that kind of thing uh i need this there we go i need another rack boom boom Yeah, so I'm going to go try and find another fortress off screen. Uh, the only reason why I'm doing it off screen is just because, like, just in case it takes me, like, 10 hours to kind of find it. I'm not, like, recording for 10 hours and then have to edit it all down to, like, smaller videos. And it just gets even tedious at that point. Could probably just make a bridge like that. You know what? I have the nether rag for it, so I'll just go do that. There we go. That should make things much easier. Plus, if I ever fight a ghast, I know I have a bigger bridge that I can end up, like, uh, walking around on. Oops. Come on, there we go. It's still a little bit lagging. I don't know why, but it's fine. I'm gonna have to restart the computer after this, probably. It's probably what it means. It probably wants me to restart. There we go. Uh, we'll do that. We'll also mark this as the way out, kind of thing. Or, at the very least, the way up. I'm gonna go and do this. Oh, magma. Probably should cover this area at the very least. Cover that as well. There we go. Uh, go there. There we go. Now you should be able to get up through here. Oh, yeah, it does grow naturally over here. Okay, cool. So you can't make it grow naturally. All right, well, that's going to be it for today. Uh, next time, we're going to be starting off around the Nether Fortress, and we will be enjoying ourselves over there. So, uh, yeah. 
See you guys next time for some more Circle Craft.